Hello, everybody. Pete and Allie the Airedale Olson here. Today, I wanted to talk to you about different sizes of sewing machines. Get my tape measure out here. And I want to show you. Not going to measure you, Allie. Going to measure Wilma. Wilma is our Singer Industrial Treadle. It's a Singer 3115, and this has a large throat space. It has almost 10 and a half inches of throat space there, and quite a few inches there, as you see. This is an industrial size, common industrial size sewing machine. Bernie here, our Bernina 830, is a normal size sewing machine, and it's got a throat space a little over seven inches. But this is your average sewing machine size right here. Then there are what's called the three quarter size sewing machines, like the Singer 99. This Singer 99, whether it's a hand crank or electric, they're all a little smaller. This has a little over six inches of throat space from there to the needle. Just like this Vickers, same thing. A little more on this one, but it's still considered a three quarter size. And just like this Jones here, will be considered three quarter size, almost full size, but not quite. But those would be considered three quarter size machines. A little lighter, maybe and um, more compact, but easier to take with, more portable. These are the kind that are in cases, especially hand cranks or electrics. Then you go over here and there's what's called the half size machine, which is what this Vesta is. This is considered a half size machine here. Still does a normal lock stitch, but it's throat space is even smaller, a little over five inches there, not as tall, and it's narrower right here. Even its case is smaller than some of the other cases. Then you have the featherweight, which is kind of in its own size class. We could call it a half size also. And it's got throat space, a little over five inches there, as you can see. But that's your normal featherweight. And you can kind of see how this Vesta almost looks smaller than the featherweight as far as heights and things. But they're generally in the same half size class. Then over here in my collection, we have like this Neki. There's a child's chain stitch machine. It's less than four inches. Same with some of these right here. They can range in all kinds of sizes, even down to that. But all these still make a lock stitch. But you can see what these are like compared from, here's another example of a full size machine, the Singer 301, which has a nice large throat space area. But that's what I wanted to show you today, the different sizes of sewing machines from different ages and things. I hope you all have a wonderful and very, very blessed day today. Bye-bye, everybody. Allie, you say bye-bye? Yeah, good dog. Bye-bye, everybody.